the topic is young's double slit experiment the young's double slit experiment is used to explain the interference pattern and what is interference the term interference the interference means the superposition of crust and trough then the resultant thing is called interference the interference is of two type interference aapka kitna type ka hota hai do type the first type is constructive interference constructive interference and second one is destructive interference then what is constructive interference in the constructive interference when the wave have first crust and trough and second wave as this when the crust of first wave superimpose with crust of second wave and trough of first wave superimpose to the trough of second wave then the resultant wave is represent the constructive interference same same as when the crust of first wave superimpose to trough of second wave crust of first wave superimpose to trough of second wave and trough of first wave superimpose to crust of second wave as this pattern the resultant wave amplitude is called as destructive interference in the young double slit experiment we have source s1 with provided two slit s1 and s2 s1 and s2 are two slit we provide us coherent source what is coherent source coherent source is the source which have same amplitude frequency and wavelength of light wave then the s1 give the crust then same time the s2 also give the crust then trough of first wave and trough of second then again crust of first and crust of crust of second then again trough of first then trough of second as this the pattern is observed on the screen in that figure when the crust of first wave superimposed to the crust of second wave that point form always bright fringe the pattern is bright and when the crust of first wave superimposed to the trough of second wave that point is observed as dark again if the crust of first superimposed to crust of uh, trough of first superimposed to trough of second then we again get bright then again if the trough of first superimposed to the crust of second again we get dark then the pattern is observed alternatively bright dark bright and again dark in the young's double slit experiment we have two slits s1 and s2 as shown in figure as the source is coherent by the s1 and s2 these two slits the fringes are formed on a screen the fringes are formed on a screen as in this diagram when the same type of waves means constructive to constructive and destructive to destructive are attached to each other then when the same crust to crust or trough to trough crust to crust and trough to trough meet with each other yeah superimposed to each other then what will we get we get bright fringe bright fringe as different is superimposed to each other we get dark fringe dark fringe then we have to calculate the intensity variation in the young's double slit experiment so if y1 is the what is y1 y1 is displacement 
displacement factor of first wave that is equals to y1 equals to a of sin omega t a is amplitude of wave a is what amplitude of wave then y2 is equals to what displacement factor of second wave and that is equals to a of sin sorry b of sin omega t plus phi and phi is what phase phi is phase between the waves this is equation number first and this is equation number second then the resultant displacement factor <coughs> y is equals to y1 plus y2 and this implies that y is equals to what y is equals to a of sin <coughs> omega t plus b of sin omega t plus phi ye hamare paas kya hai b sin omega t plus phi is the formula of sin a plus b and this is equals to what y a of sin omega t plus b of sin omega t cos phi plus cos omega t sin of phi the resultant displacement factor y is equals to a of sin omega t plus b sin of omega t cos of phi plus cos omega t sin of phi then y is equals to a of sin omega t plus b of sin omega t cos of phi plus b cos of omega t sin of phi therefore sin of omega t is common from these two equation a of sin omega t plus b of sin omega t yahan se hamare paas sin omega t aapke paas kya aa raha hai common therefore what will we get y is equals to a plus b cos of phi into sin omega t is common therefore sin of omega t yahan se aapke paas sin omega t humne common le liya andar bach gaya aapke paas a plus b cos of phi and sin omega t is common therefore b cos of omega t sin of phi this is our equation number third this is what equation number third this is our equation number third equation number third therefore equation number third mein hum a plus b a plus b cos o phi isko equal put karte hain r of cos theta and b of sin phi b sin phi isko hum put karte hain r of sin theta therefore by putting these two equation in dono equation ki value hum ek equation third mein put karte hain to from third from equation third b get kya milega hame jab ye dono equation number third mein put kare a plus b cos of phi is equals to what r of cos theta therefore y is equals to r cos of theta into sin of omega t because we replace this term by r of cos of theta and b sin of phi replaced by what r of sin theta then plus r but sin of theta cos omega t by putting this b sin phi is equals to r sin theta in equation third we get this value 
This is equation number. Before making this equation, y is equals to what? R is common. Then we get cos of theta sine omega t plus sin theta cos of omega t. This is again formula of a co, um, sin a cos b and cos a sin b. And this can be written as y is equals to what? R sin omega t plus theta. Because sin of a plus b is equals to sin a cos b plus cos a sin. y is equals to what r of sin omega t plus theta because sin of a plus b is equals to sin of a cos of b plus cos of a sin of b then this is equation number 4 as we know the value a plus b cos of phi taken as kya liya tha r of cos theta and b sin of phi taken as kitna liya tha r of sin theta then squaring both side these two equation and add them therefore a plus b cos of phi square plus b square sin square phi is equals to yahan se r square cos square theta plus r square sin square theta then open this a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus cos square phi then 2ab cos of phi then b square plus sin square b square sin square phi and r square is common then sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1 then r square is common then cos square theta plus sin square theta again b square is common then a square plus 2ab cos of phi plus b square is common then cos square phi plus yahan se sin square phi yahan se hum kya kiya b square yahan se common aa gaya na dono mein se b square common yahan bach gaya cos square phi yahan aa gaya aapke paas sin square phi therefore r square cos square plus sin square theta is equals to 1 then a square plus 2ab cos of phi then what is this cos square phi plus sin square phi again is equals to what b square then this is equals to b square is equals to what r square r is what this is equation number R is equals to what square root of a square plus b square plus 2 ab cos of phi and this is your resultant amplitude resultant amplitude and as we know that the intensity of light always directly proportional to the square of amplitude and r is your resultant amplitude r mein par resultant amplitude then intensity is directly proportional to what square of amplitude then we remove the proportionality symbol we get a proportionality constant k r square k is what proportionality constant for intensity then i is equals to k r square i is equals to what K R square. This is equation number five. 
then if i1 is the intensity of first i1 is intensity of intensity of first then what i1 equals to what k a square. A is what? Amplitude of first wave. A aapke paas amplitude liya tha na? First wave ka y1 is equals to as this. y1 is equals to A of sin omega t. A is what? Amplitude of first wave. Then intensity of first wave. Wave i1 is equals to what? K into R x square. Then from here i1 is equals to what? K A. Square. Same for i2. i2 is equals to what? K B square i1 is equals to k a square and i2 is equals to k b square then from these two value a and b a is equals to what a square is equals to i1 upon k and b square is equals to what i2 upon k then a square into b square Multiplication of these two, I1 into I2 by K square. Then square root both side, square root both side. Then AB is equal to what? Square root of I1 I2 divided by K. I1 I2 divided by k we have all values a b is equals to what a b is equals to i1 i2 square root divided by k then i1 equals to k a square and i2 is equals to k b Scared. Then, as we know that, as we know that, resultant amplitude R is equals to R square is equals to A square plus B square plus two AB cos of theta. Then A square, A square from this A square is equals to I one by K. Then R is square is equals to A square. यहाँ पर कितना जाएगा? I one by k. This is the value of A square. Then I one by k plus B square is equals to what? I two by k. I two by k. Then plus two AB. AB is equals to what? Square root of I one I two by k. Two square root of I one I two by k into cos of theta this is our r and i is the resultant amplitude intensity that is equals to k into r is square therefore i is equals to what i is equals to k into what r is square is equals to what kitna hai aapke paas i1 by k plus i2 by k plus 2 square root i1 I2 by k into cos of theta and k is common and cancel out from R. Then I is equals to I1 plus I2 plus 2 square root of I1 I2 cos of theta divided by k into k. Then k to k cancel. At last, the resultant intensity of wave I is equals to what? I1 plus I2 plus 2 square root of I1 I2 cos of theta. This is your resultant intensity of two different waves.